Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is a DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about Terraform lifecycle rules. Lifecycle rules are very tricky one and you can use it for various purpose. When coming to lifecycle rule, there are three major lifecycle rules we are going to see in this video. In our first lifecycle rule is called create before destroy. In this script, I have one Terraform block, one provider block and one resource block. Always lifecycle rules are comes under the resource block. You should not bring lifecycle block as a separate one. You always bring under any one of the resource wherever you need as per your requirement. Here, I am going to create the VPC in this resource block. I have mentioned create before destroy is equal to true, which means whenever the resources, I am going to create first of all one AWS VPC. Once I create, I will do some modification. The modification, how it will happen, whenever the modifications or something happen with this VPC, Whenever do apply again, it will create the modified one first. Then only it will destroy the existing one. So that is going to be show, shown as a demo here. So according to our concept, here I am going to give apply for this one. Let's do apply this uh, VPC to create first of all. So here I am creating this VPC. You can use it for different purposes like uh, instances or uh, Lambda functions, wherever you need. Here you can see, first it is created the VPC and you can see the ID of this VPC. Once this is done, I'm going to change this from CADR block from 10.2.20 block. Once I do changes, then again I will do apply. You can see the thing it's going to create the 20.0.0 CADR block first of all. It's referencing the state file and it is going to replace this one. One is going to add, one is going to destroy. So in our case, you can see it has created the VPC first, which means 20.0.0 block has completed first. Then it destroyed the existing one. So that is the create before destroy lifecycle rule will act. It always create the new resource. After that only, it will delete the existing resource. So this is the one of the lifecycle rule. We will see the next lifecycle rule. Here, the lifecycle rule is called prevent destroy. So prevent destroy always the default value will be false. I'm going to change this false value to true and save it again. Let's switch into the directory. Here, I have one resource block inside this lifecycle rule. So I'm going to create the VPC again for this resource block here. Once I gave Terraform apply, it is going to create one AWS VPC. And again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this VPC. Let's see what will happen. Now I got new VPC here, and this is the VPC ID which is got created. Now I'm going to destroy this VPC. You can see what it's going to do, this lifecycle rule. Once I gave Terraform destroy, it, it is not going to delete the VPC. You can see instance cannot be destroyed. Resource AWS VPC.main has a lifecycle rule which is going to prevent destroy it, which means whenever you mention in here is true, it is not going to delete this VPC. Whenever you want to destroy this resource, you have to go inside this script manually and you have to change this value to false. Once you change the value to false, you can do Terraform destroy. It will automatically delete. So like this, 
without your intervention manual intervention or without your conscious it won't delete simply when you give terraform test try command so like this this terraform life cycle rule will work and we are going to see the next terraform uh, life cycle rule which is known as a ignore changes here also i have the one of the resource block in my script so in this resource block what i am going to do i have added the life cycle block here and inside that i have mentioned ignore changes equal to bracket here you can mention any kind of argument you want to ignore whenever the changes were happened with the script. Here I have mentioned the tax, which means whenever I change the tax after applied, I, if I change the tag, it won't consider. Let's see how it will work. First, I will switch into the directory here and then uh, let's do the apply first of all. When I do apply, it's going to create the AWS VPC with the tags called name, web3, and environment is equal to dev. So let's see, you can, you can see here the name tags and environment tags which are got created. So I have the lifecycle rule which is going to ignore the changes on the tags. I'm going to change this name from web3 to web4 and then what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do apply here, but it will not do any changes. Simply, it will throw it as a zero changes. So that is what going to happen. It's refreshing the state file. And it is saying that no changes with your infrastructure as the configured, which means like I have added the lifecycle rule here. And here I have mentioned like there is no changes should not be considered during when tax can be changed. So that's what it's doing with this lifecycle rule. Whenever the ignore changes is added with these multiple parameters, you do some configuration. I hope this video is helpful. These are the three major lifecycle rules. You can do practice with your, uh, uh, your, uh, your lab experiment for your understanding. I hope this video is helpful. If you find this videos helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel, follow for the more videos. Thanks for watching this video.